Hi, everybody, and welcome to Orthodoxy 101. Well, last time we talked about the different styles and uses of vestments. Today, we're going to talk about, hey, what's up with all those different colors? Well, if you've gone into an Orthodox church, most of the time during the liturgical year, you're probably going to see this color. Gold is the standard color. Now, I want to preface that by saying that when priests first start out, because they don't have a lot of money and vestments are expensive, then they'll only have a few vestments. So probably if you don't see the gold vestment, what you will see is you'll see a white vestment. So maybe it's best to start with the white vestment. So the different colors are associated with different seasons of the liturgical year. What's the most important time in the liturgical year? Pascha, the resurrection. And that is when the priest will wear the white vestment. So if you don't see gold, you'll see most priests, especially younger priests, with a white vestment because this is the one that is most important to celebrate the resurrection. Also, white is used for many of the other sacraments. The white garment of baptism, the white joy of the resurrection for the funeral, and typically white will do for weddings. So this is very multi-purposeful for that younger priest. So then why would he need other vestments? Well, the answer to that question is he doesn't need to have those other vestments, but having those different colors then is a visual signal, as are many things in our Orthodox Church, that the season of the liturgical year has changed. So there's a visual indication. So when you have a gold vestment that is seen most of the time, and then the laity sees a different color, they recognize something is different in our church. So with that, during the Lenten season, you're going to see then the color turning purple. And this is representative of how they mocked Christ by putting on a purple robe. In this case, you see that this is a combination of white anticipating the Paschal event, but also purple to indicate that we are in that Lenten season. So something like this would be worn from the beginning of Lent all the way through Holy Week. Some priests you will see when they enter the depth of Holy Week, and I'd say probably Thursday on when we are in the real depth and passion of what Christ is going through, the dark times, then you will see some priests wearing then a black vestment. All this means is that is a continuation of that darkening of what's happening during Lent and Holy Week. And here would be a different shade of the purple and for, again, just my preference, as we go deeper and deeper into Lent, I like the people to see that the vestments become darker and darker. So as you saw the one vestment that I gave you before, I wear this earlier during the Lenten period, halfway through the Lenten period, and then I have the black vestment that I wear after Holy Monday. Another vestment color that you'll see is the blue vestment. We have a number of different feasts during the year that are associated with the Virgin Mary or the Theotokos. Now, if you look at the icons that we have on the Iconostasi, you'll see that the Virgin Mary wears blue underneath, representing her humanity, and then red on the top, which shows that she is clothed with the divine. And what you see over in the icon of Christ is you see just the opposite. You see the red of his divinity, but he is clothed with blue of his humanity. So that's what the blue represents here. In this case, you see that I have this blue and then I have also then a darker blue. So different shades don't indicate any real difference, but it's just a stylistic preference of the priest. There are certain times of the year when the green vestment is worn. Most popular is any time that we are talking about the Holy Spirit, like Monday of the Holy Spirit, or on Palm Sunday, when obviously the palms are then green. Lastly, what we have are the red vestments. Now, the red vestments have two different applications. The first one is for the nativity season, right? 
Christmas, red, very nice. The second reason is when we are celebrating a saint who was martyred. And obviously that red indicates or is symbolic of the blood that he shed for the Christian faith. So while you may see priests with different colors like brown or orange, what I wanted you to see here are the traditional colors that are associated with the different seasons of the liturgical year. So next time, we'll be looking at the different types of non-liturgical vestments. So remember, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you soon.